I'm heading up to Leakslip today to hang out with a few friends of mine. Make the journey to the Courtyard Festival in Leakslip, Candy Kildare. Leakslip is in Candy Kildare, isn't it? <laughs> Leakslip Festival. Boom. Oh, this is the shortest walk to a hotel room ever. Hello. 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 It's crazy stuff going on in here. Oh, Jesus. Change of my socks and all, Ev. I can't believe you're changing your socks. I'm getting transformed into a yeah. It's the smell, man. The smell is more impressive than anything oh, else. Oh, this was freshly made. Brand you new still smell the sawdust, though. was a fucking piece of wood, like, up until whenever. Do you want to commentate on what you're doing there, Jeremy? Or? I do the all, the all hair gel. The, the pre gig hair gel. I know that we all just go down there, stand there. <laughs> yeah, just look at him. Yeah, well, this isn't something I usually do, but I'm going to turn into a slight Very music journalist. Oh, he came. This is the first ever guest appearance by another band. You've been very supportive of me, sharing music, very encouraging, uh, giving me support slots and all that kind of stuff. Appreciate that. Um, was anyone, when you were starting out, higher up the ladder, giving you any help? Or was it all... Barry's on <laughs> That's that question. Nobody fucking helps us. No, Jesus you Christ, our Lord. <laughs> Brezzy from Smash Hits was uh, helped me anyway. He just kind of had a lot of insight from his day years with Bobby Galoon. Yeah. And he's yeah. now CC Brez. Yeah. yeah. And he's brilliant, but he had good advice. But apart from that, you're all self-made. Yeah, totally. Right, there you go. If you want to be successful, <laughs> just do it yourself. And <laughs> fuck the hell. Any vocal warm up tips there, Griff? Stare into a man's eyes <laughs> and then just let your throat do the work. <laughs> <laughs> Top tip from Dara don't oh. go on the lash the night before the gig. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Pull out one of his fingernails right before the gig. Go on, give me a fingernail. Which one do you want? Oh, oh, Kyle, and then I eat it. Oh, it's tight over there now. Look at that. Imagine. What is he doing? <laughs> With the debut studio album, what was the mindset in coming off of a very successful live album? What was the mindset we're trying to get across what you had in your head for studio? We certainly didn't want to let go of, of what we were live, but we definitely wanted to maybe flex a new muscle, which was a bit bigger, uh, a bigger sound. <laughs> <laughs> that muscle being a bigger sound, not, yeah. not, not, a, not an actual muscle. Um, a bigger sound and a more electronic kind of a contemporary sound, maybe. Yeah. So it's just kind of keeping the, keeping the, the heart of what you do and just embellishing where it needs to be, you find out. We got better just... playing our instruments as well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do if you need to burp or hiccup or sneeze on stage whilst you're singing? I just to do it. <laughs> Even I need the piss right now. We are Hermitage Green, we came up from Limerick to see you tonight, and you look beautiful. How did the gig go, Griff? The gig went great. Very enjoyable in Leak Slip. Leak Slip. Uh, with the obviously you have a large back catalogue of songs. What was the? How did you decide what to keep from the live album and do a studio version of? Yeah, there was quite a change from the live album to the to the new album. So we wanted to, rather than having such a big leap, we wanted to have some sort of connection to our older, more acoustic stuff. So I think Golden Rule and Cloud Nine were the two yeah. that kind of made it out of that because they were still quite upbeat and uh, rocking as well. So they kind of fitted well with the with the new stuff. Johnny, this was it. Fox the show. And this I'm sure. <laughs> Give you a tour of our rider. Go on. Over here we have some dry roasted peanuts. Salty peanuts. I like a bit of salty peanuts after I play a uh, few of the drums. And then like a bit of grape. Grape. Oh, a bit of pear. Ah. And uh, then we have the hard stuff. Yeah. Ginger ale, a bit of tonic, mix them together and then throw in a bit of gin. Potatoes, yeah, potatoes are great. They're uh, high sorts of energy and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Even be. You can pee from there. <laughs> Inside here we've loads of stuff like... Uh, That's where you sleep, is it? Yeah, I, yeah. I sleep in the box above here. <laughs> Get out the fuck now, Johnny. You've overstayed your welcome. I'm sick of your old guff. 
get out. Go home. Go home to Wexford now. There's a few strawberries to be picked or whatever. Bring us no beggish buzz next time. I've very, I don't think I've ever said this. I'm sure someone has alluded to in the past, but when I first met you, um, no one will have alluded to what I was thinking. But um, first of all, it was just happenstance that you're all like very good looking guys. Or was there a, an audition Johnny, process? Well, you know. Johnny. And the other thing I, which I love was that made you seem even more like the Avengers or like some sort of superhero group was the backgrounds you all came from before music became the full-time thing. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but we have All-Ireland kickboxing and boxing champion? Boxing. No, Bo no not All-Ireland. Just a boxer, yeah. 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 All-Ireland boxing champion. <laughs> <laughs> Represented Ireland in athletics. Yeah. 400 metres, is it? One and two. One and two. Is it 74 time Bowron All Ireland Kayleigh Champion? <laughs> yeah. I was lucky enough to win a few uh, All Ireland's on Kayleigh Band drums and. Uh... Barry, you played for Monster. Yep. I believe. Did you score a try against the All Blacks? I did. But possibly the most impressive out of all of this, you were a teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was wondering what you were going to oh, You just get past me there. I was like, out of, I was just thinking on the way up, say if I was five. And I decided, right, I want to play for Monster, I want to be a Kaylee Band drum champion, I want to sprint, and I want to box. I could work my ass off. I couldn't be a teacher. Good I'd job. kill every student I had. Uh, so fair play is what I'm just, Thanks. that's all yeah. I was getting to. It was like. a great teacher as well. Um, I think we did pretty well. That was great. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Today. Well, today. <laughs> Sick. Right. Johnny Stewart, everybody. Johnny Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Stewart. Johnny Stewart. Jeremy. Yeah. You're in school. And you're writing in pencil, yeah. and you make a mistake. Yeah. What do you take out of your pencil case? A rubber. A rubber, and you break the top off your pencil. Yeah. What do you take out of your pencil case? Another pencil. <laughs> okay, so you only have one pencil, and you'd like to reapply the the nib to that pencil. What do you take out of your pencil case? What you break the top off it? Yeah. Topper. A topper. Yeah. So topper and a rubber. You're not a fan of pencil sharpeners and erasers. Oh, do you have anything to say to the viewers? Um, always put. 50 cents in the truck or a box at Christmas. Well, I, just had, my lair. I just had Dermy in here. Oh, I can smell him. If you ever get the chance to have a rider, always use all the rider. Yeah. You never know you when you might need some ginger. So that concludes today's hanging out with Hermitus Green. Uh, 